alone, day one. Every week, viewers tune into the History Channel to watch a survivalist challenge themselves in some of the most hostile and unforgiving places on Earth. Polar bears spend their time stalking prey, which is not what most bears do. Ten contestants start, but only one wins the coveted prize, $500,000. Sometimes you eat the bear, sometimes the bear eats you. This season, two Idahoans and eight others left behind their modern lives and conveniences and traveled to Labrador, Canada. And that storm's coming out of the west. Sharing space with polar bears, plunging temperatures. You have no food. You have no idea what you're doing and the temptation to just call it quits. Yeah, I had no doubt that this was something that I could do. Carrie Lee Kanoki is from Sandpoint, Idaho. Been here for 25 years. I caught up with her near her home via Zoom. Oh, it's just beautiful. I love the wildness about it. Since the show is still airing, Carrie Lee can't tell us who came out on top just yet. My first meal off the land. But I did ask what prompted her to join the cast of season nine. They approached me a long time ago to apply, and I just am now getting on season nine, and it's been the perfect season for me to be on, so the timing is just right. Perfect timing for this primitive skills expert who has a connection to the land that dates back to the early frontier. I've got roots in Washington, Oregon, and Idaho, which was the Pacific Northwest Territories. My ancestors moved here six generations ago. I guess I've just always loved the great outdoors since I was very, very young. My dad used to take us backpacking, like when I was six months old even. Oh, I got him. Week after week, viewers watch as Carrie Lee hunts and gathers and makes the most of a home she quickly comes to love. I was a little apprehensive at first, but felt right at home as soon as I got there. Could definitely use some salt. Carrie Lee says she hopes her presence on the show proves you don't have to be the strongest to stay the longest. I would encourage any woman who's got a desire to do it to try it and just start practicing the skills, learning either primitive skills and or survival skills. So will she win or will she tap out? That remains to be seen. Still, Carrie Lee says pushing herself, meeting fellow survivalists and connecting to the natural world means she's already a winner and never truly alone. We feel like we're family and we're a team and we're really just cheering each other on like, wow, dude, that was awesome. <laughs> Why didn't I think of that? Such an amazing group of people to work with.